Hey everyone, this is the Speed Source SLX. And what we're going to be doing today, we're going to kind of do a quick assembly video, maybe a best practices guide, and I'm going to show you how to put everything together here. First things first, we're going to start off with our Nylon X mid plate. Got our two nuts right here, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the edge of the nut and look at the edge of the center hole of the plate. It should line up like that. It's kind of pressing there. Sometimes it's easy enough you can do it with your thumb. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult, so I like to do. Take the two millimeter driver, really anything that can kind of put pressure, put it in the hole, put pressure on here, and then just kind of push it down in there. It's gonna go right down in there. It doesn't have to go all the way, but just enough to get it set. Cause once we get in there a little bit further, we put the screws in there, it's gonna pull all the way down. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our T700 carbon arms. We're gonna slot them right in here. It's gonna be a little difficult at first. That's on purpose. We want it nice and strong. We don't want it wiggling while it's in there. All right, so now, after you get the arms in there, you're gonna take your standoff. These are not included. I know everyone likes to use something a little bit different. My favorite to use is an M3 by 25 millimeter aluminum standoff. Nice and light, and it gives you that length for, for whatever you wanna put in your stack. Now, sometimes these are a little bit difficult in there. You might have to drive it in there. There we go. So once it's in there, the coolest part about it is there's actually only one millimeter between the head of the screw and the top of the plate. So you have plenty of room to put your stack on there. Easily put the three pieces, you know, especially if you're using one of those hybrid VTXs right now. So right now I'm actually gonna take this out and then I'm going to, uh, just so you can see everything, I'm gonna put everything else together here. Next, we're gonna have this sitting upside down. We're gonna take our bottom plate. It doesn't matter which way it goes, front to back. Either way is fine. Just make sure you have the chamfer hose facing down so you can put the screws in there nice and flush for when we have the battery on later. We're gonna take our M3 by 15 millimeter, which is our longer screw. We're gonna slide that right in here. It's probably gonna be a little difficult to get in there. That's on purpose. Keep the tolerances nice and tight so everything's gonna keep from wiggling when we have it on there. That helps keep get the noise away from the gyro. All right, once you get all the screws on there, should should be pushing all the way through right now. Just, just hand tight, obviously. We're not putting the standoffs on yet. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our middle screws, the M3 by 10 millimeter screws. We're gonna take a little bit of blue Loctite. Again, you don't need much. Just put a little bit on there, just a little touch, and uh, run that in there. And again, this is just hand tight right now. We're gonna tighten everything up a little bit later. And if you're uh, like mine, if you're not sitting a little high in there, just take it and start tightening it down in there and pull it right in. It'll be nice and square and uh, nice and tight in there. So you can tighten it down once we once we do everything later. Now we're gonna put the standoffs on, but before we do that, put a little bit of Loctite in all these. Keeps it nice and tight on there. Again, you don't need too much, but just enough to get it locked in there. And then we're gonna just put these on hand tight for right now. Just one quick tip here. What I like to do, obviously have the Loctite on here. It's gonna be nice and tight, but just to make sure before every race, I like to go in here and tighten all the bottom screws, all the motor screws, and, and even when we're racing, you get down to the brackets, I like to do every couple races, sometimes every race, just to make sure everything's tight, just to make sure we're not getting any extra vibrations in the gyro. It's gonna be as stout as possible for, for when we go racing. And obviously we don't want anything wiggling loose either, that would not be good. This is actually the most important part of the build right here. So you're gonna take the standoffs, we're gonna tighten them down into the Nylon X, Nylon X main plate. So what that means is, right now, as you can, might be able to see, it might be a little hard on there, the standoffs are a little bit taller, maybe about a millimeter taller than the camera mount, and that's on purpose. So we're gonna take these, drive it into the Nylon X main plate, about one to 1.5 millimeters, and you can actually take this camera mount and use it as a measuring stick. So get that in there and try and get that as flush as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as close as you can get it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a pair of pliers, uh, also needle nose pliers work, really whatever you have, but these big ones, these are these are the way to go because it holds it nice and tight and you can just run it right in there. So we're gonna drive this down in. Now you can see, it's gonna go on here and it's gonna be pretty much flush. Might be a little hard to see on there, but it's gonna be nice and flush. And you put that camera on there, and that top light's gonna line up just right. So we're gonna be nice and strong, have that those standoffs all the way in there. Now once we get these standoffs nice and tight on there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and tighten the bottom ones, get those as tight as you can get them. And uh, that way, 
uh, so they won't come loose. And then it's also gonna drive that nut all the way in there, just like we were talking about earlier. So nice and tight, you can see that kind of came in there. It's nice and flush in there. It might, might sit out a little bit, but it's gonna be in there. It's gonna be nice and strong. It's not gonna go anywhere. Last thing I like to do is I take a piece of double-sided tape. It's a little bit, uh, this is a little bit squishy in here, so that acts as two things. If When you change arms, it keeps that nut from uh, coming loose. Uh, the best part though is if you're like me and you like to run your ESC really low, it helps keep from components from bouncing off either the uh, the nuts, it can short, or you know obviously it can damage the board or hitting off the nylon X. It's going to go into this nice squishy uh, double sided tape and it's going to add a little bit of resilience in there. So a couple things to point out here, we have the uh, the front of this, remember the rounded part is goes out front, that's a little bit extra added protection for the camera. This part back here is pretty cool, this is uh, actually some built for strain relief for your XC60 lead. So what you do is here, you take a zip tie, run it through here, and then run it through over the uh, the lead here and it's going to help so you can't rip a pad off the ESC, not damage the ESC, not hurting the stack. Nothing's gonna be moving when you rip when batteries come out or there's or is any kind of damage on the on the lead or whatnot. Another cool thing is you flip this over and there's actually kind of indented in here, so you can take the head of the zip tie and snuff it in there. It's not gonna be in the way or it's not gonna cut anything or you know hurt your hands or whatnot. Now we're gonna take this uh, top layer here. One thing I wanna show you, this is really cool. So this is uh, this leading edge here is actually kind of a strength reinforcement. So what you do is you take this, you dip it under the camera mount, right, right in there, there's a little divot in there, pop it in, and then screw it right down. And what that does is it allows the, the top plate to take the force of a hit. So if you hit the camera, you know, hit the PVC or even conduit, some of these bigger events, it's gonna take out, probably might take out the camera, but it's gonna take that strength, put it into the top plate, and it's not gonna take your stack out. Another nice thing is if you buy uh, off the website, I uh, use nylon 10 to print these, nylon 910 to print these camera mounts out. That means they're not gonna flex, be nice and strong. And again, it's not gonna take your stack out. So there's a couple different antenna mount options right now. Uh, standard comes with a dipole mount, so this is pretty cool. You really just take this, you open it up, and you can slide the dipole antenna in there. Right now, uh, as of this video, we currently have a dipole mount. We have uh, TBS Triumph Pro, and we also have the Micro Axie 2. So if your mount's not on there, let me know, and we'll get something made up for you uh, for whatever antenna you have. So the cool thing is, if you already have your antenna mounted on the VTX, uh, you don't have to worry about getting into this little hole right here to mount it. You can uh, just take it, there's a little slit on here, you slide the antenna wire right through that slit, just like this. So nice and easy, goes right in there, comes down, and that slit, once you screw it down in there, it's nice and strong so that antenna is not going to pop out. One thing I like to do here is I like to actually kind of preset my screws in here. The holes are a little bit tight and again that's on purpose. So you can put the screws in here. You don't have to fumble around when you're trying to put the top plate on. You just put it in here. Again you set that lip under the camera mount and then you tighten them right on. You might have to move the uh, standoffs around a little bit just because obviously it's really tight trying to get everything as strong as possible. So put that in there and then just screw everything right in there for you. Real quick, let's just check this out. This is a fully assembled frame. I want to point a few things out on here. So one really cool thing on the top here, you have these holes in here so you can mount your antenna on top. Uh, this is really nice when you have tracer or ghost. You don't have to mount it up here. You can mount it on the arms or wherever you want really. But this is a couple of big things that gets you away from the carbon fiber so it helps you give you a cleaner transmission signal. And the best part, is away from the props too, so very, very minimal risk of damage. Uh, same thing up here with you got the antenna up here. It's mounted at a 50 degree angle, so you get when you're uh, cruising at 50 degrees, if you're on a 50 degree camera tail, even 45 is still, it's about straight up and down the whole time. So you're gonna get maximum, maximum transmission, best video signal, and you're away from the carbon fiber once again. Last thing here, check it out. So we have, again, this is my favorite part. This is the strain relief for the XT60. I know some people don't run this, but I'm a big believer and I've ripped pads off ESCs, hurt ESCs. When you're ripping batteries up, this is moving all over the place, but check it out. The ESC is not moving at all. So no damage ESCs, no pads ripped off, and the whole stack is going to be a lot safer because of it. And I don't know about you guys, but I really like these arm braces. They're not necessary on this frame. You don't have to run them, but they only rat, they only add about 3.5 grams a piece. So they're very light, they're very strong, and, and they strengthen this whole area up. So in here, so what that means, obviously, the risk for crashing uh, braces it up. And the best part is, it actually braces your whole tune up. So you're allowed to, you can run a little bit more aggressive tune and a little bit lower filtering and really get the most out of your quad. This is the Speed Source SLX, everyone. Uh, fastest frame in the game. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Hey, let's, let's just go have some fun, guys.